what the hell? Is this a satanic incense holder? Or is that just like a symbol that they use in India or whatever? And I just realized this. I got this at the at the head shop. But I also got this. This is so much better than this. I was scared, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I was scared for Prague. I thought Bumstead was going to beat Martin Fitzwater. I really did. And that, that would have been scary if that would have happened. Seeing as, you know, Chris Bumstead is not a bodybuilder, that would have been scary. Because, I mean, otherwise, could you imagine if somebody just says, oh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and change divisions and I'm going to be the fourth best person in the world. <coughs> Shouldn't be able to do that. I mean, at the end of the day, <coughs> Bum still looked great, but he's still a classic guy. And... <clears throat> I heard he was angry that he took second. Bitch, why are you angry you took second? You shouldn't have even been second. You could should have been like fifth or something. You're not a bodybuilder. I mean, the Olympia was just like a month ago. This guy didn't grow into bodybuilding. This guy didn't like, you know, go on a six month transformation. I mean, you're the go to classic physique. You know, nobody can beat you in classics. Nobody can hold a candle to you. Since you started beating Breon, nobody was really, you know, challenging you. But you're not a bodybuilder. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was doing, like, Instagram lives, you know, all but calling the show rigged. Because, I mean, you know, after what happened with that Tyson, that Tyson Logan, or was it? It's not Logan Paul. It's Jake Paul. Logan Paul's his brother who owns the energy drink company. God, man, this thing is like burning some serious smoke over here. Let's put this over here. Get this out of the way. I don't want it to look like my place is on fire. But that that fight was rigged, guys. And Netflix, y'all, y'all need to stop covering uh, boxing matches or whatever. That that, that stream sucked. Like every every like thirty seconds, the thing was like crashing. I didn't get anything on that. Excuse me. But uh, no, nah, I mean that was embarrassing to watch. But I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous. I was like telling everybody to watch, watch. It's in New York Pro all over again. They're gonna screw Martin all over again. But the difference is, before the New York Pro, he had never done the Olympia. He wasn't with Hostel, you know, and, and he hadn't been screwed before. Before New York, he hadn't been screwed before. He won Detroit, and, you know, he was, like, on the map, and he was working with Rise, who didn't appreciate him, in my opinion, because they didn't feature him on promo materials, and they didn't, you know, treat him the way that he deserved to be treated, in my opinion. What the hell do I know? The point is, is so much happened from then you know, and I tagged Fuad, I tagged Hostel. I was like, come on, man, because you guys know, Martin's my guy, you know what I mean? Martin is the guy that I like, you know, right now. Because it used to be, I know it sounds so disingenuous right now, right? Like, well, before it was Sean Roden, and everybody at the MD boards will tell you, like I was shooting, you know, my best shots for uh, Sean Roden back in the day, writing the articles for Iron Magazine, writing the articles for Strength Addicts, doing the commentary, Having my man Nadim across the pond in the UK coming up with graphics. Because I do that. You know, I do that. Brandon was my guy. Sean was my guy. Um, before that, if we're going to go way back in time, Gustavo Badell was my guy. You know, I've got, you know, competitors that I look up to. And Martin Fitzwater happens to be the guy right now. He's the man. And so I was like really starting to get, I was getting quite annoyed actually. Because I thought, like, how is Bumstead? First of all, Bumstead is like this towering guy. This is not a tall man sport, especially bodybuilding. And you had, I think, Horace MD was there, but 
But more importantly, had Sean Clarita there, a two-time 212 Mr. Olympia. Uh, or was it Beef Stew? I don't know who was there. But basically, you had Clarita there and you had um, Martin Fitzwater there. And to me, Bumstead didn't have a place to beat either one of those guys. Now, obviously, he beat Clarita because he took second. I believe Clarita took third. But but you know what? Like, even though Sean has done open bodybuilding shows and won, like he won the Reno Sports Fest against Sergio Oliva Jr., who's a top, top, you know, open guy, who's like over like 100 pounds, you know, Sean's weight. And then Regan Grimes, like, you know, legendary Canadian bodybuilder. I mean, you know, these guys are, these are big dudes and Sean beat him. But the thing is, is that whether it's 212 or it's open, it's still bodybuilding, right? I mean, they're both bodybuilders. But, you know, Bumstead is a classic physique guy. And honestly, I mean, I don't even think he should have been second. And I saw that RX Muscles got a show tonight. Um, and it's called some, like, was Bumstead robbed? And I think last night, Matt, you know, that interviewer guy from that podcast in the distant land of Canada, that Muscle Insider podcast that Bob's never heard of. Um, you know, he, he was the first to, to do it. But the thing is, is that I think Matt, I think Matt and Martin have like some kind of like beef or something. I'm not sure, but, uh, but I'm not saying that's why he put that out there. I think Matt is uh, genuinely a fan of Bumstead. And I think a lot of people are genuinely fans of Bumstead. And I don't think that there's as many diehard Fitzwater fans in the media as you know, you may think there's not, but I mean, I, I think that People recognize that this is his time to shine. And also, look, I'm going to tell you something. I Sometimes I like to I like to listen and I like to read what's presented. But then there's stuff that's not presented, but you read between the lines. And RX Muscle applauded Chris Bumstead for cutting his second, his second retirement speech short to let Bumstead speak. Now, right there, that sounds like a pro for Bumstead, right? But if you read between the lines... It, it it's 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 like he was talking so much thank goodness he stopped and leave a little bit for the champ to speak you know it's like it's it's not always what's written it's it's what's not written and then you kind of read between the lines but listen i don't want to call bumstead a clown but i mean he's coming pretty close i mean if the clown shoes fit you know because originally he had that whole Gymshark thing, remember? And people were like, oh my gosh, he's not going to do the Olympia. Oh my gosh, he's going to retire. And he knew exactly what he was doing because, because everybody thought he was going to retire. And then he comes out with the Gymshark thing, right? And then he goes to the uh, Olympia and he wins his sixth uh, classic physique Olympia and he retires with Bob there and everything. <clears throat> and then... He um he actually god damn it I thought that was gonna go off real fast I don't wanna burn my finger you just keep smoking but the point is is that then he does the Olympia he retires there but then he does the Prague show and correct to Matt from Muscle Discord's point when asked on some podcast and and the way that Matt said some podcast makes me think that that some podcast was bro chat because I think. Matt and Fuwad are having kind of an issue. I'm not sure. Um, and it's unlike Matt to just say some podcast because he would say the name of the podcast. So I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that he, uh, that uh, Bumsa was on Bro Chat. But um, when asked if he would do the Olympia, and when asked if he, had, if he would win the Prague, would he do the Olympia? And then I guess the answer, because Matt cited it, Bumsa said, we'll see. And I agree, and I agree so much that actually, based on Matt's commentary of that, I wrote an article for IronMagazine.com. Truth be told, most of my articles come from um, Nick Strength and Power, RX, Desktop a little bit, and a little bit from uh, Muscle Discord, because these are the programs I watch generally. Ron, I watch also Ron Harris, former senior writer of MD. But I, Ron doesn't come out with stuff as much as these other outlets do, or at least not in the frequency. So when Matt made that commentary, I thought I was like, "Yeah, this is this is actually very powerful," because you know we'll see is most definitely not retirement lingo. And and fast forward, sorry for that huge tangent. We get to Prague and he's retiring now, 
for the second or arguably third time. Because if you consider the gym shark, whatever that was, I count that as a, as a sort of a hybrid retirement, retirement at the Olympia, now retirement in Prague. And it's like, you know, shut up and let Martin Fitzwater give this speech because he won the show. So, um, you know, in a roundabout way, I think that we are still not there. I think he's going to get a special invite. I wrote an article for Iron Magazine about the win, congratulating Martin, and I'm writing another one for Strength Addicts, but I don't write two articles in the same, you know, context or whatever because I don't I don't do that. I'm a brilliant writer and I can write two totally different articles. But but no, but I mean like I I mentioned the special invite possibility in my article for Iron Magazine. But I'm going to flush it out more in my article for Strength Addicts. But I'm just going to tell you something. I mean, how crazy would it be after a second, arguably third retirement type speech or event or whatever that he actually does the Olympia? I think that people, the people in positions of power and promoters, they want him to do the Olympia. Because as I pointed out during my my uh, frantic posting, thinking that c -Bob was going to take it and Martin was going to get robbed. If you look at the numbers in terms of the support that Mr. Olympias have, Samson Dowda has 1.3 million Instagram followers. And we're going by Instagram and because, I mean, TikTok is a force to be reckoned with, but in bodybuilding, Instagram is still the dominant force of all social media platforms. And it's what I go by. So Samson Dowda, no, not Samson Dowda, Samson Dowda, you're reigning. Who is Samson Downa? Samson Dowda, you're reigning Mr. Olympia, 1.3 million followers. Not not really that much. Derek Lunsford, 1.4 million. You figure that's after him being Mr. Olympia for a whole year. That's all he's got. Not impressive. Hadi Chupin's got 8 million. That's not that's not not impressive. That's a double negative, but that's not not impressive. That's uh suspect. That he has 80 million. But then again, who the hell knows? But Chris Bumstead, Chris Bumstead's got 25 plus million. 25 plus million. That's more than three times Hottie's suspicious 8 million followers. And that's like like 20 times, easily 20 times, maybe 18, 19, 20 times the support of your reigning Mr. Olympia, Samson Dowda, and your past year's Mr. Olympia, Derek Lunsford. So that's just that's wild if you don't think that jake wood is is just like salivating at the idea of having bum set at the open olympia uh then you know you're on crack to, to quote the great ronnie coleman and then finally if you don't think that the federation is salivating at it because the federation you know they they you know, would be ecstatic i mean you saw how steve weinberger was that that instagram reel that went viral you know he's like hello how are you oh we're so lucky to have you here Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You're amazing. Oh, my God. That's like, you know, come on, bro. I mean, like, you don't think that they want him competing? I mean, so I'm just happy it didn't come to, at the cost of another fluke like we had in New York this year where Martin Fitzwater got robbed for, you know, uh, for, for Nick Walkaway, who not only, you know, didn't deserve to win, but dropped out of his second consecutive Olympia, proving that he's a colossal failure. Nah, he's not a failure. He just has me blocked, motherfucker. But the point is, all I want to say is I'm glad Martin won. And I'm glad that Seabum ate that second place because you've been, you know, you've been killing dreams, man. You've been killing dreams for six consecutive years. And you had to come to bodybuilding so that my man, the Martian, could, could let you know what time it is. You know what time it is, man. And you're going to think twice before you try to get into another bodybuilding show because you're going to feel the pain, my man. You're going to feel the pain. You're a classic guy. Stay in classic. Don't, don't mess up a good thing. Stay retired. Okay? Or come back and have another top six bodybuilder relegate you to second or third or fourth. But whatever the case may be, I want to thank you for stopping by here. At, uh, Strength Addicts. I almost forgot the name of my own website. Powered by Iron Mag Labs. Make sure to go to IronMegLabs.com. Make your mark with IML. Load up the shopping cart, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and because if you don't, I'm going to be executed.